Okay, Aquarius, let's have a look and see who's coming in for romance, love and relationships for the sign of Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Aquarius, oracle of love for singles, who's coming towards you? Aquarius. Okay, the strength card. This is a strong Leo coming through with the strength card here. This is someone that's very driven, motivated, or ambitious. This could be an alpha female or, or an alpha male. I think they have a, quite a dominant personality here with the strength card. I feel they may have an athletic appearance or they may um, they may have a lot of um, physical or mental strength. Now, this person can be quite, um, quite a strong character or strong personality, as I've said. Or they may be in a role um, professionally or in their life where they give solace or strength to other people with the strength card as well. Um, they exude a lot of sexual energy as well. You can see this woman here and she's half clothed. Um, I feel like they're very um, sexually confident. Um, you know, I feel like this person is at a period in their life when they're encountering a lot of highs. I feel like with the strength card here, they're at the strongest they'll ever be. I feel like they've got strong skills. Um, they're coming into power, into leadership and or prominence in their professional life as well with the strength card here. I feel like maybe some things have happened to them in the past that have made them who they are. Um, but I also feel like this person is very, um, like in their social group or in their family group, I feel like this person is the person that people come to for help or for solace or guidance because this is the type of person they are. They're quite nurturing. Um, they also could be quite possessive and protective as well with the strength card. Um, but fire energy here. They could be very affectionate as well. Um, uh, in terms of uh, affection, um, caressing, kissing, very affectionate as a person with a high sex drive as well with the strength card. The hanged man. I feel like um, there's definitely something around physical activity. Uh, sometimes I feel like they're introverted with the hangman. You can see that he's upside down. So I feel like they could be, you know, they, they contradict each other, these two cards. So I feel as though there could be a bit of um, upheaval going on in this person's life. Either they've come from introversion or they're going into this sort of introverted energy with the hanged man here. I feel like things have been a little bit upside down for them in regards to love. Um, I think in some areas of their life, they may be, you know, dominating these areas such as career or personal ventures or personal goals, etc. But in another aspect, I feel like when it comes to love or relationships, they've been down on their luck a little bit. They may have had some sort of relationship or marriage or experience, um, love experience that has sort of changed their perception of love with the hanged man. Um, it could be this as well, or they could be initially, they could be quite introverted. And then later you see this lion or lioness emerge. Um, but the hanged man could also indicate suspension. Um, again, I feel like there's something with physical activity around them. Either they're very active, possibly into extreme sports or activities. Um, you know, there is a notion of meditation. I feel like they enter another world. So I'm not sure if they, they have a creative pursuit maybe, but I feel like sometimes they, they shut their eyes and, and they, they drift off. So they could be a bit of a dreamer or they could be quite creative or they could be very in tune with this sort of meditation like sort of rituals um, is what I'm seeing here. You know, the ink symbol. I feel like they could be quite spiritual in nature with the hanged man, absolutely. Um, or they help enlighten people. Or they somehow create or bring up, bring people to another world um, in some way, shape or form. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um this person is very well spoken and very articulate. I feel like they're very observant. They're very wise. They're wise beyond their years. I think they definitely have interests um, in physiology or the human body. There's the Vitruvian man here, um, you know, anatomy, physiology, the human psyche, um, the universe, man, philosophy, religion, um, medicine, or something like this takes their interest, piques their interests. Um, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of mental compatibility between the two of you. This person is all about moderation. You can see the dark and the light. And there's this boundary here, what looks like temperance here. Something about moderation or this person, it's something about balance because there's imbalance here, strength here. So I feel like this person may be going through some sort of phase in their life where they're trying to counteract the two in some way, shape or form. 
They're definitely very, very well respected for their words. Um, again, as I, as I mentioned, people turn to them for advice or solace. Um, they know how to articulate themselves. They're very, very charming Aquarius and very mentally engaging. I feel as though this person can appeal to and probably has friends from all walks of life. Um, I think they're able to find common ground with a lot of um, different people. So this person has a lot of diversity in their personality or day-to-day -day interests maybe. Um, again, there is a darker side to this person, so possibly duality here, which would, I mean, not that it's a darker side, but there is a more, I guess, a more serious and sinister side rather than a light and breezy type side, so it can be like Gemini energy, um, you know, that this person has two counterparts, but I feel like they're very intelligent, um, possibly in, involved in something where they teach other people or they might be in the future because of their wisdom um, in some way here with the King of Swords. This person could be trying to find their balance through spirituality as well. The Death card, this is a Scorpio. There's definitely a lot of changes and transitions occurring around this person. The Death card brings endings and then new beginnings. So I feel like this person is right now Honestly, it feels like this person is on a roller coaster. Highs are high and lows are low for this person. Death can also bring spirituality or notions from the past, things that have things that once were may resurface. For some of you, this person is coming from your past Aquarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be an ex-lover, although it can be, especially for those that have dealt with a Scorpio before. This can be also indica indica um, indicating, sorry, indicating that this person is from your past, you were past um Friends, you are well acquainted, you've worked together, you've crossed paths before, um, or even had a past life maybe with a death card. But this is a metaphysical transition from this person. There could also be loss around them, loss of a job, loss of a parent, loss of a friend, loss of a loved one. Because death brings loss. Death takes something away from our lives, something that we've grown close to or accustomed to. So I definitely think their life is changing in a major way here, Aquarius. Um but it's like a new dawn. There's definitely life-changing events occurring around them. Or they've recently, you know, become more interested in the philosophy of life, of religion, of death, um, you know, what it means to be alive. Ten of Cups, beautiful card here. This is a card of happily ever after, ruled by the signs Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. This is someone that is searching for love that is capable to give you a very deep connection here. Um you know, intensity in sex, passion, chemistry, embrace. This person is very, very affectionate. They may have tattoos or some some imprint on their body. They may wear something or have like wear always wear a necklace or have a tattoo, or they have something imprinted. Um, you know, they could be quite artistic as well and express their art through various forms, such as photography, drawing, um, tattoo artistry, or something like this with the Ten of Cups. Um, but this person is definitely wanting love. I think they may have had one very significant relationship from their past a very long time ago, maybe even in a past life here with the Ten of Cups. I feel like they have really good relationships with the people around them. They nurture relationships. I think they have a lot of um, a lot of a very wide social circle, but they have a lot of people they're very, very close with and they nurture each and every one of these relationships is what I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups energy. But this is happiness and fulfillment. I think this person has a very happy disposition despite what has happened to them, Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person is setting themselves up in terms of career and success and they're really reaping the rewards. It shows that things are ripe and ready and there's an element of collecting or accumulating or accruing. So I feel like in terms of finances and or career, this person is definitely receiving some sort of dividends and or career. They could work, uh, 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 sorry, assets um, or benefits or, or monetary gains. They could work with finance or they could work with the growth of finance or estates um, or development in some kind. It's almost like they oversee development or strategies or growth or flourishing of a product, a service, a, a, a property, you know, something with assets though and finances. But I definitely think, I, I feel like they're at a place where they feel very comfortable in certain areas of their life. Right now, I just feel like they're missing love um, around them.
It can also be very good with money, very practical with money, very savvy with money. The Moon card is a Cancer here that's coming through. This person is quite intuitive, might have some sort of spiritual or intuitive ability with the Moon card here. This person wears a mask, so I feel like sometimes I have to perform for people. Again, there's duality around them. It could be a mix of very of two very distinct elements. They could be they could have Gemini in their chart, but there's a lot of duality. Not that they're a split personality or anything, Aquarius, but I, I definitely think there's two sides, two very different sides to this person. They could be quite creative and or whimsical. Um, may have ancestry that links them back to paganism, especially like the sort of folklore, um, these stories. I feel like they like being outside. Um, they like being amongst nature, hiking, walking, meditating, or even just taking a walk. Like, I feel like they're just in touch with nature. Um, I feel that their moods may even fluctuate with the phases of the moon as well, or the tides, or something like this with the moon card. They could be a performer. There's a lot of elaborate headgear and robes. So they could design clothing. They could be in performances, in production, um, you know, in music and fashion, there's a lot of avenues, but it's it's possibly something to do with entertainment here as well. Um, but they could, you know, they could be quite emotionally sensitive as well is what I'm seeing. Um, deep down under all that um, strength is emotional um, sensitivity. Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here with the Three of Pentacles. Definitely this person is, is building them an, themselves an empire or working their way up financially is what I'm seeing. I feel like they're financially supported or they're in a place where, they, where they're financially secure. This could also rule negotiation, discussions, um, sacrifices that need to be made in terms of assets, money, finances or property. Um, they could be in sales or they could work with finances, but I feel like they're very results driven or they're very money driven is also what I'm getting from the three of pentacles here. Might have been involved in a third party situation in their last relationship, hence the preconceived notions, hence the animosity towards love maybe. Um, this could also be the case uh, for some of you. Uh, let's have a look now and see when and where you'll meet this person, Aquarius. Let's see if any specific time frames pop up. Okay, the Tower card, Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, the Tower card. I feel like this person is going to come in very soon after a breakup or a, a, a Tower moment involving you, involving another person or other people, Aquarius. The Tower moment brings sudden shake-ups, delays, obstacles or changes. Something could be dissolving here between you and another person. It could be when a, a business partnership falls through it could be when a relationship dissolves it could be when a relationship faces a very hard hurdle it could be after a very explosive breakup here as well the tower card is any sort of sudden change in our life that's unexpected and not anticipated and we're not really prepared for oftentimes it is when a spanner you know is is being thrown into the works here and suddenly our life changes in very very um, major ways and I feel like this is around the time this person is coming in but I see the two of you falling for each other very very quickly to the point of almost obsession or in the point of just falling head over heels for them is what I'm seeing it could also be at a place that you're meeting at a place where there is um, a bit of taboo activity going on. You know, it could be like at a nightclub, people are drinking, you know, suddenly people lose their inhibitions and things happen much faster, I suppose, and differently as they would, um, for example. So it could be under these sort of circumstances as well. With the Six of Pentacles, some of you are meeting at a charity event, um, through finance, at a financial institution, um, at a place of giving, um, you know, at, at a place of sponsorship, possibly at an event that's being sponsored by your company or by their company. And I think this could be a medium for some of you, the exchange of money or the charity of time, of, of money, of assets or, or material things will somehow bring the two of you together, um, Aquarius. The next card over the Four of Swords, some of you will actually be meeting through... Um, meeting at a church through a religious community, exploring historical sites, exploring sites of um, significance. You know, there's a tomb effigy here, so maybe somewhere near a cemetery, somewhere near a place of rest. 
for some of you it could be on a holiday if you're really um you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a holiday overseas if you're just taking personal time it's all about withdrawal and taking personal time to reflect and analyze and and re-energize so if you're going through this period aquarius or you're wanting to do something like this this could very well be where the two of you meet. Um, you know, it could be at a meditation class. It could be through some sort of spirituality retreat as well. Um, as I said, through the community, somehow doing something nice for the community, uh, quite rewarding as well. Um, this is where the two of you could meet, but definitely on holidays for some of you. And like I said, it's, it's very intense. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you come together physically first and then develop into something more serious um, from thereafter. Moving on, you have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're holding something very important, and this is when this person is coming in here. This is the Holy Grail. So this is a massive achievement here, Aquarius. Something you've been meaning to work towards that you will achieve and you will hold in your hands here, because I see you holding something. It could be a job. It could be a merit. It could be an award. It could be, you know, anything that you've been trying to work towards, an experience. Um, but it's something that you've you've accumulated and you've drawn into your experience and you have it and you're very happy with it, Aquarius. And this is when the person is going to come into your life. It's, it's at a period of fulfillment for some of you, emotional fulfillment. You know, you've got the Holy Grail here. Possibly religion. I mean, there is a church, what looks like a church with stained glass windows, um, what can look like the Eucharist here. There's um, little cupids, little angels here. So for some of you, it's definitely... Um, uh, spirituality or religion more so that's going to lead you to each other um, but it is a sense of achievement the queen of cups and you feeling genuinely happy with your achievements so I think for some of you it's following a very you winning some sort of grand prize or um, you know the, this is the mothership and you'll have it and very soon after this person will be making their way into your life so look, I will leave it at that, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching.